Okay, so we look at Sonic Heroes at 21 by 9. Okay, so I'll admit up front, my knowledge with Sonic in general is not amazing. However, I have a very good source to help me fix this and make sure this video is well-rounded. A best friend of mine, Premi Deremi, whose channel I'll link to in the description, provided all of the help to make sure this video is not me just running headlong into wall after wall. Anyway, let's go over the ultra-wide support first. I should also point out that whilst the video seems not perfectly smooth, that's due to the game hating being recorded and not the actual experience, an unfortunately unavoidable issue, but I'll talk more about performance in a minute. So the game does not natively support 21x9 and just ends up stretching itself to fill the screen, so you will need to mod it. I'll put full clear step by step instructions to follow in order to make it work in the description, so just check that out. But in brief, it requires a hex edit which isn't too difficult, so don't worry. Again, if you have issues, comment them down below and I'm sure someone, if I can't, will help you out. So once you've done the mod, the gameplay shows off more of the world on the sides of the screen, including in-game cutscenes. However, both are subject to serious pop-in issues. Anything beyond the 4x3 section of the screen that is not a baked-in part of the environment will end up popping in and out as it enters and leaves the 4x3 section of your view. This does pose quite an annoyance at times as you don't realise something might not be broken, for example, because it looks like it's not there. However, that's just because it's on the side of the screen and it's just not being rendered. And yeah, this can be frustrating, but honestly, it's not too terrible. It kind of depends on how well you know the game. If you're already an expert with it, it shouldn't pose much of a problem for you, as you already know the world like the back of your hand, but it could make things a little harder for those new to playing. The HUD is stuck to 4x3, but isn't stretched or distorted in any way, so it looks fine. It would be nice to have it on the sides though. Loading screens and the transition to the gameplay feature a 4x3 image, but the sides show the world behind immediately, so that also looks a bit funky. Pre-rendered cutscenes are stretched to fill the screen, which is not great at all. I wish it would just black bar them. The in-game menus are exactly like 16x9, they're just a tiny pop-up box, so there's nothing really to go wrong here. However, the main menus are exactly like at 4x3, but it shows black bars on the sides of the image, and the scrolling text at the bottom and some menu images like the circle on the bottom right, etc. do show up in that black extra screen space, which leads to quite a shoddy looking set of menus. But yeah, they all work correctly, it's just a shame there couldn't be a full screen image. When playing co-op, the screen space is correctly all used up, However, there is still notable pop-in for both players on the sides of their screens, even though each player is only at close to 4x3 anyway. It's a bit annoying. Also, the bottom section of the HUD showing player progress is stretched, which is weird, seeing as all other HUD elements don't stretch. Performance-wise, Heroes has issues. I've turned off VSync in NVIDIA Control Panel and turned on Times4 Anti-Aliasing and can maintain a steady 60fps at 3440x1440 on a G-Sync monitor on a 980 Ti. However, if I do not use G-Sync and just use VSync or turn VSync off completely, I get stuttering. It's just minimal, but it means the game is most certainly not perfectly smooth. It's a bit worse than what you're seeing in this recording, as, like I said, this recording is very slightly not perfectly smooth, even though it was recorded with G-Sync, just because the game doesn't like being recorded. Now this slight stuttering issue wasn't present on Windows 7 and only cropped up when moving to Windows 10, so it would appear to be a Windows 10 issue, but I don't know of a fix for this, so yeah, currently the only way to get buttery gameplay is to get hold of a G-Sync monitor if you're on Windows 10. A good point to note for those PS4 lovers, the game doesn't need DS4 at all if you want to use the PS4 controller. And I'm going to have on screen now the layout of setting up an Xbox or PlayStation controller so you can quickly get going with a controller when first starting. It should save you some effort there. Once again, thanks to Premier Doremi for that info. When playing two player, you sadly need to use a controller for second player and have the first player use the arrow keys and end, delete, insert and home keys. As for some reason, two controllers don't seem to work at once. 
it is undeniably a bit awkward playing on the keyboard, and also the frame rate is horrendous here, jumping all over the 30s and 40s. Really, if you want a smooth two-player experience with two controllers, you need to play the Dolphin emulator version. The actual gameplay is really superb. Whilst graphically it's really showing its age with low res textures and so forth, the gameplay is so solid it warrants coming back to play for anyone who likes Sonic. The special stages are admittedly not great, or the team battles because the special stages control a bit weird, and the team battles are unstructured and you can find you can just spam the blue tornado for Sonic and just win within like 30 seconds. So yeah, it's a bit broken, but otherwise it's a fantastic play. There are certainly some glitches around too, so you might find yourself suddenly falling off the edge for apparently no reason, which can be annoying. But I must say, it is great having multiple characters, and the difficulty makes it a great Sonic game. However, the technical ultra-wide issues do pose some serious problems, and so it will probably mean a lot of people won't play this simply due to the fact that it's got these ultra-wide issues. I'm going to give this game a wide as fuck score of 1. Unfortunately, every single moment of the game fails to support 21 by 9 how it needs to, so it cannot get a higher score. But anyway, I hope that gives you some information on how the game runs at 21x9. Check out Prominent Deromi's channel for anything else Sonic, I'll link to it in the description. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21x9, head over to my channel, hopefully you'll have covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description. See you later. Set up there. Whoa! What's with that giant rock? Get out of the way! Here we go! Looks like his buddy is enjoying the party.